from the Nellis Air Force Base and the Nellis Air Show. We are here just outside Las Vegas. This is the annual air show. They do it every year on Veterans Day and it's awesome. So today we're going to go see the air show and we're going to check out some awesome airplanes. So let's go. You can see it's got a ton of awesome planes out here this year. Including planes that you can go up in, like this one, the B-1 Bomber, B-1 Lancer, B-1 Bomber. This is awesome. This is crazy. This is huge. Let's go see the AWACS. Looks like we can go inside this one. Pretty awesome. It's classified. Don't get to go in that one. But we do get to go in that one. I feel like that is a very important area. What? Go sit up in your seat right there. It's your seat. Go. Come on. Ready to fly? Go take us somewhere. Get up there. Go, bud. I promise it's not going to take off. It might. Depends on how good you are. Come on. Say thank you. You're welcome. Have a good air show. I wonder if they're going to fly that. They're moving that stuff. That would be cool. Let's see the World War II section. We got the P-51. There's a Spitfire over there. P-40. Another P-51. And the government for awesome. which she stands. Awesome. They even have uh, old army trucks. It's like World War II. Old German half track back there, American half track, weapons carrier. Look at all this. This is awesome. That's super cool. They're really rare. Don't touch that stuff. Predator drone. Pete Hooper and Mark McKinnon flying the number four. Now, as Sticky repositions his aircraft, notice the straight wing of the L-39, which can translate a pronounced buffet that the pilot can feel when he pulls the aircraft to its maximum angle of attack under high Gs. The United States.
Ferrari, Mustang, Corsair, and Spitfire. The music of the Merlin. And ladies and gentlemen, Lunar Sawyer is with me here on the deck, and we've got some of the thunder. Angelina, your bonnet, who is Thunderbird number 10. Approaching now, the B-25 Mitchell, the B-40 Warhawk, the P-51 Mustang, Spitfire, Corsair, and Avenger. These, ladies and gentlemen, are the Texas Flying Legends. <laughs> British pilots, but also American, Canadian, Czech, French, and Polish pilots. More than 600 Spitfires were flown by the U.S. Army during the war. And the Texas Flying Legends Museum Spitfire Mark 9 was flown over the beaches of Normandy, France on D-Day plus 9. The B-25 Mitchell. cooperation that took place in American industry to support the war effort. It was both carrier and land-based, able to drop bombs and torpedoes on the enemy. It was a TBM that a 20-year-old lieutenant and later president dramatized in the 1970 film, and again a newer version of the film, Torah, Torah, Torah. B-40s protected China from Japan. The Flying Tigers of Claire Chenault remembered in this too. And now, the B-40 flies by in front of you from the Texas Flying Legends Museum. The B-51 Mustang behind that during the daring... The Hellcat, the Corsair, was responsible for the destruction of over 7,000 enemy aircraft in air-to-air -air combat and in downing enemy planes and achieved a kill-to-loss ratio of 11 to 1. Full of a speed of 440 miles an hour. The Mustang, also of over 400 miles an hour, as well as the Spitfire, the fighters in this impressive flight. they are low and inbound but where will they come from from behind the mountains in front of us from behind the mountains to the left from over the city to the right or directly behind us ground operations are involved as well as you see on the big screen there are ground movements moving in around us as well and the ground forces have also been alerted gentlemen, this is going to start with a rather large kaboom as we begin the exercise. One jet to the left, one coming in behind. Now to take them on. The 
the F-50s close in on the aggressive tactical fighter design. The bad guys are in front of us right now, as you can see with the ground attack. Ship lands as our troops start to engage them. Overhead, the power of the Pratt and Whitney F 100s that you hear with 23,000 pounds of thrust in each engine of the F 15 and full. the 6th Weapon Squadron, one of the newest assets in the United States Air Force Arsenal, the F-35A. The F-35 will provide next-gen stealth, enhanced situational awareness, and reduced vulnerability for the United States Air Force. Sound of its gun. On the strafing runs. And capable of carrying more bombs in an attack. The Payhawk mission equipment includes a retractable in flight refueling probe you see at the front. integration involves the coordination and deconfliction of all surface fires, weapons used against ground targets, including those extended from the air and those extended from the ground. They are working together as a team now, on the ground and in the air, to make sure there is a safe extraction of the wounded. on the way down, he heads back over to the left side of the aerobatic. Back, 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 oh, and back yes. over he goes again in that backwards loop. Now goes to the top and rolls the helicopter over. Oh, my God. Just get ready. He's going to toss it forward in a forward somersault. Unbelievable. Blackie Sports, the Red Bull helicopter.
near critical where he's almost positive. Pulls back and increases the power. It is signature Cobra move. Rolling out of it and getting ready. United States Air Force's F-22 Raptor. is the first supersonic multi-role and hyper maneuver stuff fight in the world with a fully internal combat weapons load. Ready your cameras as the Raptor banks in from your left and cycles his weapon bay doors. Folks, if you ever wonder where those bombs and missiles hide, here is your answer. Piloted by Major Dan Weeby and Captain Chad Rudolph. And a United States F-22 Raptor piloted by Major Dan Rock Dickinson. you guys liked it i loved it it was great so make sure you like subscribe and follow us for everything vegas we'll see you guys soon